promise we are gonna be using Swablu to get to Violet City. The first city with the gym! The first city with actual things to do in it besides get tours from old men who have nothing better to do. So, ooh, it's a Pokemon trainer. We better not make eye contact with him. But just to be safe, I'm gonna switch Swablu to the back because I don't want it to die. And it's for more taking on the bug catchery type. But not the youngster type, because you know the youngster type, they're like, we got some Rattatas over here and some Pidgeys, and so, you know, I want to keep Swap Blue out of that mess. Swap Blue! It's so cute, sorry, I can't stop doing that. So, my chick with the hat is going to be all like, go, Kago, and, um, yeah, so Kago has like this awesome ember attack now, so we can just pretty much one hit KO anything that comes out. I mean, nothing's gonna stop it. So it's sort of no fun, so, um, I just own that kid. He gave me Nintendo 64 EXP. And he's like, hey girl, can I get a number? And I'm like, um, no, you're too young for me. Notice your name, but it has youngster in it, so get out. Go back in your grass patch. So he's, he's crying, and he's just standing there looking puzzled. Seriously, look, he's not even moving. Um, so, yeah. Here's another kid. He's all like, yeah, well, I got a Pidgey. And it's like, ah, oh, it's a Popo. Die. And so it's level two. Really? His Pokemon are, like, at the weakest level of the ones in the wild? What? Oh, well. So I'm going to switch in my Pope. I mean, my, my Pope. I mean, my Spoon. Not my Popo. That thing ain't a Popo. That thing is, like, far cooler than a Popo. I mean, seriously, look at its wings. It's like a cotton ball. You can just, like, rub your face in it and be like, I'm in a cloud. It's so cute. So, um, yeah, Swablu almost died because the Rattata was really fast. And I'm like, whoa, I did not expect this after a level 2 thing. I expected, like, a level 2 thing again. But, no. So, that guy's out of the way. I walk into a side of a mountain. I walk around this obstacle. And here's the girl that tells you about, you know, if you look at someone wrong, they're gonna battle you. It's like, thanks for telling me now. She's like, I'm not gonna battle you. It's like, really? And then you just like give her this funny look. She's like, you can keep looking at me, but I ain't gonna battle you. But, um, so you just leave her alone. And this bug catcher punk pops out and he's all like, I got Scatterpy! And so I own it with like 10,000 times damage with the ember. And that's no fun. And I'm learning and like, what am I doing? Oh, I'm switching Pokemon. So Swap Blue is all out and Swap Blue is gonna like own that Caterpie with a peck. You see how much I did? You see how much I did? Okay, now it's down to 7 HP, which sort of sucks, but you know, I can manage. I know how many trainers are left and there aren't that many. So now we are passing Mr. Pokemon's house. See that little cut tree? You can like cut on through there if you want to go like chill with Mr. Pokemon sometime later in the game. And so someone's calling me. I don't know why. I mean, I think it's Professor Elm saying there's someone in the Poke Center with something for you, blah blah blah. But I'm not sure. So um, either way, that plot point pops up later, and I'll tell you about that later in case you don't already know. So I run into the grass, and there's a wild Pokemon battle that I forgot to cut out, and it's Caterpie. Yeah, in this area, there's like Caterpies and new stuff, which is sort of nice to get more variety, but it's like, whatever, screw the Caterpie, I'm gonna run away. Um, sorry I don't catch any Pokemon, because um, nothing here is really worth catching. Uh, yeah, it's pretty boring junk here. So, not even any decent HM slave things. Maybe I'll get a Sentret, because I didn't even know those things could surf, but you can, which is cool. And so there's a Bellsprout. I'm like, awesome, Bellsprout! And so, whatever, I just decide to, you know, peck that thing. Bellsprout, oh, critical hit. Ooh, I just hacked the wild Pokemon. Its family is gonna get mad at me now. I wonder if Pokemon have, like, little gangs. It's like, the Bellsprout gang. It's like... Yeah, sort of like a little mob, and they like go attack trainers all at once and stuff like that. It's like, Trainer A has been wiped out. And so there's a cave. That man was trying to block me from getting in the cave. That cave, in the previous games, there was Dunsparce in there. And Dunsparce was actually one of the first Pokemon I ever caught, you know, even though it was that rare. It was like, I just went in there, Dunsparce, wow, that's awesome. I didn't like find a single Zubat or Geodude, it was just like, bam, Dunsparce. And I would walk around in the dark for ages trying to like, find another, because I'm like, this cannot be a Pokemon, look at it. 
so there's an item on that side of the guy, so I'm like, oh, fine, I guess I have to walk in front of him. And he's the last trainer on my way to Violet City. And I keep getting Violet City and Lavender Town mixed up, so if you hear me call it Lavender Town, like, yeah, it's not Lavender Town. Because that place has the music that's all high-pitched, it's like, do, 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 and it, like, creeps me out. I love that music. So, um... Here's my last trainer with all the bugs, and they're all level 2. The trainers early on are really, really low leveled. I don't know if they're trying to encourage you to use other Pokemon, or to not waste so much time grinding levels on wild Pokemon, or just trying to tell you there's so much more to the game, so we're not going to have to make you level up to level 60 or something before you beat the Elite Four, because, you know, there's the whole Kanto region left. So I don't know what the deal is, but, you know, they're all pretty low leveled, but it's really nice if you're just, you know, trying to enjoy the game with something awesome, like, Swap Blue, is that a tail? Does it have a tail? Yeah, I guess it's a tail. Ew. So, um, the guy's all like, hey, number! I'm like, no! <laughs> the only guy I'm going to give my number to is Bill and the Bicycle Man. Seriously. So, um, I don't even care. I don't know if they give you items or if they just, because in the later games they're all like, I found this stone and I don't know what to do with it. I'm like, well you can just give it to me, you little ignorant loser. So, um, in the end they do because, you know, I'm just so influential. I'll walk up to them and like, I've been saving this thunderstone for you. It's like, thanks, man. And so that's the only good phone numbers come in. I mean, maybe swarming Pokemon, but seriously, I don't, I don't get it. So, don't even bother. And then here's my hibiki dude. He's all like, hey, what's up, baby? I got you something. And it's the battle recorder. Ooh. So now you can record your battles. Um, I don't think I'm going to be having any battles with the Cyndaquil and the Swablu. Thank you. Even though, if this was, like, the only game I had, I probably would. Just because it's that fun. And so there's the woman. And there's the guy with the headband. He's, no, wait, is that a headband? What the heck? So, I'm in Violet City, ooh, there's a house, ooh, in that house is a guy that, um, I think if you trade him a Bell's route, he gives you an Onyx, and its name is Rocky. It's like, really? Rocky? Is that the best you can come up with? I love the Pokemon they trade you, like, those in-game people that are like, I love this Pokemon, but I'll trade it with you. It's like, I found this thing ten seconds ago, I don't love it, and I'll trade it, <laughs> just cuz. So, the Onyx thing can help you beat the flying gym leader, Faulkner! <gasps> Spoilers! But he's in that gym, and you can own him. That's the Sprout Tower. We're gonna be going in their next video. And here's the Battle School. Wait, Battle School? I don't know. It's like Trainer School. Who, who cares? So, I'm going in the Poke Center, and the Poke Center is like a different shade of Poke Center. What? And, um... It's the same Rush Joy, though, and the same dodgy-looking people standing around. What is that guy wearing? Does he have, like, a medical mask? Whatever. Maybe a swine. Ha! Ah! So she holds my two Pokemon. It's like, thanks, Nurse Joy, you're the best. Alright. At least in this game, she doesn't say, oh boy, you're out late. Because remember in their other games, like, you go in there, she'd be like, oh boy, you're up earlier. Oh boy, you're out late. I'm like, woman, I know that day and night are new concepts to you, but you don't have to go, oh boy, you're out early every time I talk to you past the time of 6 o'clock, really, or 8 o'clock or whatever. So I'm inside the battle school. There are two people playing Pokemon in the Pokemon world. Seriously, do you really need to play Pokemon inside Pokemon. I mean, we don't do that. We don't play people. Well, you know, there's the Sims, but that's different, okay? Sims is different than playing freaking Pokemon on a Game Boy inside the whole Pokemon. Look at me. I have a Pokemon behind me. Why are you playing Pokemon on a... Whatever. Weird kids in that school learning the basics, I think. Like, if you're burned, what happens, and all that, what, and all that junk. So, I'm gonna be going into the Sprout Tower, because I got two Pokemon that own Bell Sprouts, pretty much. My Swap Blue is so happy to see me. But, before we go in there, I caught a new Pokemon! So, this is like a couple days later, and on my Pokewalker, I found this really, really awesome Pokemon, and it's 
name is, I don't know, I'm not going to tell you, but I'm just going to pop into my PC. All the PC junk is on the bottom of the screen, so I'm not going to be showing you that. But, um, yeah, so all these Pokemon I'm scrolling through, these are all ones I caught my Pokewalker over the past, like, two days, seriously. And, um, so Whooper's my new one. I'm going to stick him in my party. That's what he looks like. Isn't he so cute? And those are all the other ones I caught, seriously. Staryu and <laughs> Kangaskhan, what? So you can seriously use those things to kill other guys. And I'm just going to head on to the Sprout Tower, and then we're going to own some old sage sprout nasty men. The end. Next video.